Hi, this is Johnny. Uh, I have a cool, vi cool video. One is that I got this to be in the Bluetooth. See, so I got one is pairing on my uh, AirPod, Apple AirPod Pro. Not the first, second one, but the first generation Pro. And this one is paired to this one, okay? And let me demonstrate that by turning this up and down. He let you hear the sound different. Coming off from this speaker. So you can turn it down. Okay. And it's coming through the speaker. So because if I put it in my ear earbug, you won't be able to hear it. So I pair it with the uh, this one I bought for new new wave toys and it's paired to that so it's to demonstrate that you could you don't have to uh, use the wire that came with it you could actually pair it with a bluetooth okay and this one is pretty cool is you have it behind and then when you put it on the table it actually sit like this so you could actually play your game like so instead of like like totally flat okay so like this is totally flat this is more like in an angle like this there you go that's the best way to do it all right and now this one is using uh the and the linux open source or embernet uh star firmware 1.0 and i just upgrade this to a 1.1 1 .1, but i put it on the 256 now you could buy this uh, that come with SD card that is 128 okay so then I was saying well what's the purpose of creating a 128 when somebody could actually buy this that come with 128 gigabyte SD card that come with the game so then I said okay well let me do a 256 but then I got carried away and I put a funk funky s operating system on it because i saw somebody was playing with a nintendo uh nah, ni nintendo 64 mario mario super mario 64 and i was like okay there must be an emulator from funky s maybe that it came from there so then i'm trying to boot from here and don't ever do that because when you boot from there this system is totally dead so let me turn the volume down so it won't interfere me talking see I turn it all the way down okay now the way you pair this you could pair it to two two person one with this side and one with this side and when you, what you do is you just let me see if I can zoom this in okay what you do is just hold it and let it blink and it will automatically pick it automatically pick the this one LL and then this one it picked uh, this other version of it so let me see if I can focus this so you can see better So you have a different name on top. So you wonder if you could see that. And what I did is, uh, this one you don't have to charge it. The one I used to, I did a video where you plug it into uh, 3.5. This is a USB-C. So you need a USB-C. Uh, to plug it in so what I did is I got the angle one first I was going to extend it and then plug it like this but then I'm like well let me get one like see if it will work like this and so I plugged this one in and I was worried that it would be so close to the here but it doesn't have a further space and so what I just do I just plug this C to so it's a male C to a female C and then this is just a male C so it's just plug in you could plug in any direction but I don't want to plug it upside down so I just want to plug it you know and this is what it looked like so SBC and okay so it's pretty cool and uh, it come in a box like this okay and I'll give you the link for it I got it from Amazon and you could also convert it to C to USB A mail. 
So you could play on Nintendo Switch, you could play on the, your PlayStation 5 and all that stuff to make it Bluetooth. And then you just plug that into a bigger USB-A, okay? So if you're not using it, you just put this back like so. And it come with a carry case, so keep it from breaking. So you got a little thing you could put it in like so. And you just put that in and let it sit there. Let it lay down like that. So this is what it come with when you buy it, which is pretty cool. So I, I like this. And then uh, I got that 90 degree angle from here. It come with two. So since I need two of them because I have a purple and a red one. Okay. I was going to do an unboxing, but then uh, I didn't know how to use this. And why not? The video was 44 minutes. So I decided, you know what? Let me figure out how to use this first. And then I will do a video on it instead of doing a video about unboxing it okay now this one have a different version of uh, this is uh this is called the uh, retro uh i guess game room and it is pretty cool it have all kind of stuff like this now you could press this button and go down the list and what I have is retro room, room cover. You could uh, change it to this, this, Embernet, Classic, Fusion, Flat, TFT, uh, Marble Wave. So you could, you could try all this, okay? But today's video is not to cover this. Today, uh, first thing was to tell, introduce you some cool device that you can listen to music and on a Bluetooth, uh, pairing with the uh, Apple. Oh, I forgot to bring my watch. You could pair it with this Apple Pro, and then you can just take it out and put it in your ear. What you need to do is you need to hold this button for a few seconds, and then you you hold the other button for a few seconds in the back, and then you just pair it. Pretty easy. All right, so this is where you set this. Now, let me get out of that. The way you set the clock, at first I didn't know how to set up the clock, is when you first come in, you could set the clock. Let me, let me go back to, let me go back to this one, okay? Oops, sorry, didn't know you could not see. All right, so what I did is I scroll down. Uh, if you scroll up, this is the, it will add this if you're doing the theme. Now, if you go to retro, then you will not see this one at all, okay? It will ask you, do you wanna go to retro or you wanna use the G menu 2X. Now, this G menu 2X is not very advanced, so you cannot like uh, add, you know, it doesn't have the, well, it does and it kind of doesn't. I mean, you could add stuff to it, but well, it yeah, let me take that back. It does have the, but the, this one doesn't have that much option. It doesn't have like the option where you could, uh, now nah, I could be wrong. Now like, you could add different theme because one thing it doesn't have is retro theme. Okay, now this one do not have, it's a little bit buggy on the retro theme uh, test version emulator but the one with this one the 1.1 I recommend get that you get more emulator I think you get 16 and this one you only get 9 from here so let me change it back so then uh, then you will see uh, so when you say yes to the other one it will boot to the GM and now I changed the wallpaper so a little bit uh, it's a waterfall wallpaper so you just press the top and you this is how you move around on the top. So just press the button on top, then you will move. And then you can play music. I played the MP4, was pretty cool. And then here is the the GM theme. Okay. So let me zoom in and go down here a little bit. Now if you boot up to a clock, 
you could just press it one time. This one thing, one thing about that concern me is this button and the SD card. If SD card is not in there, this thing will not boot up. We will just stay dead. And then if this button, this is the main button that you do everything with it. If this button go bad, then your system is going to be bye bye. So that's the only downside that I worry because you don't have an other button to push. This is the button to turn off. This is the button to change the menu. This is the button to to uh to connect or mount the your SD card to the computer. So if you want to transfer data, you could plug the that cable directly to the computer and then to the C and then you could connect. Now here's all the emulator that come with it. Come with a game gear. Uh, come with a Game Gear, Game Boy. Actually, I like it when it's uh, tilted up. So let me plug that thing back on. Uh, even though I'm not using the Bluetooth, but I could. Okay, and then I'm going to take this. Oop, can I see what I'm doing? Okay, so what I'm going to do is add a 40. Kind of a little bit tilt, 45 degree, not complete 45 degree, but it is tilt, tilt. Okay, so I'm then going to plug this to the back. Okay, face backward. And then plug this to here. And then this is pretty flat. So it's, it keep, it's a little bit of 90 degree. Now here's the problem with this one. I put funky S on it. Don't ever don't do that because that's what I did. Oh, you just connected here the thong noise uh, to the Bluetooth. So now the Bluetooth is coming through here now. So here's the problem is now the system do not turn on. Right? This is the second part of this video. First part is about the Bluetooth. Second part is that see the light come on, but the operating system will not boot up. Now to upgrade the framework, you just copy the framework CWU. I'm sorry, FW, FWU. It's dot FWU. You put it into the root of the, where the ROM folder is. Not the ROM folder, but I call it the end drive. When you map to the computer, you actually can map, map to the computer and copy all the ROM into the SD card. You don't have to use uh, USB-C to connect. Okay, you could just pop the SD card out and put it in the computer. Uh, so that's what I did because the the that partition is FAT32. So this one now is uh, 256. So I might do a video when I show you guys how to increase the, when I do the firmware update, how to upgrade the firmware and how to increase the size to a 256 or one terabyte if you want. But I don't think there's that much game to put that much stuff. Plus, uh, if you more you put, uh, the more you have to scroll, like a thousand game, like okay, you're gonna scroll thousand, your finger, you're gonna be so tired of waiting to scroll down and forward. So I could, I recommend create a subfolder so you don't have to scroll, so it'll be alphabet order. All right, so get to the point is that the the way the, uh, I was told to fix this by uh, this this code, this core, this core, the group this core. I joined the Discord company called the uh, Embernet RG Nino, and I asked them, say, anybody have this problem where <laughs> they put the won't put a different operating system and the system won't boot up no more? And they say, yes, I did that too. Uh, but the best, the easy way to fix it, it's not really easy. You just open it up and then put and unplug the battery, so they lost its connection memory I guess and then you just plug it back in and it should work oh my I think that thing just turned off because I wasn't using it all right this is what you need to open this it does not use a regular uh, tool so you have to search on Amazon and look for this one call now I don't know when did I bought this long time ago but it's t7 by 50 mm okay t7 so it's like a a little star it's hard to see but it doesn't have a doesn't have a hole in the in, inside some of 
Okay, I apologize. It's not T T uh, seven. T seven was too big. It's T six T six fifty. Okay, this is the one you need if you want it to for it to work. You need to get T six fifty mm. Okay, this is the correct one. This is the one that will will open this. Okay. See, that's the tiny little hole right there. Okay, so you need this T6 to turn it, okay? So you need T6. All right, T6. So this is T650. Okay. This one, no, no, no good. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one, okay? This is the one, okay? All right, so now we open this. We're going to take this cover off. And probably everything else going to fall off. The buttons already came off. Let's see if I can put this button back. Okay, so what I want to do is just unplug this. Temporary for a few few minutes, and then plug it back in. All right, so I'm not going to screw it back in until I see the screen boot up correctly. Okay, you just need to set it back down. I, it, it came out, so I just need to push it back down. <clears throat> okay, I'm um, not planning to take this apart because I need to have a little small nose thing like a handle to pick things up and I'm not planning to do that at this moment because I just wanted to fix this okay so I'm gonna put put it back in okay let me zoom in a little bit all right so I'm gonna put this back in and then hope hoping that it will boot up to the customer firmware now when you're doing customer frame not customer firmware it's still a stock framework. It's just a, a new uh, update version, 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, the old one is 1 1.0, and this one is 1 1.1. Okay, and oh, this is the battery it's using. So if you guys need to buy a replacement, it's 3.7V. Okay, in the future, I probably will be buying a replacement because uh, I noticed after a year, all my retro battery blew up. It, it, they don't last very long. Maybe one or two years, the most two years. So you will have to take the battery out before it blow up, because I one of my system blow up already. But luckily, it didn't crack the screen or anything. It just you can see it's kind of bubble, bubble, bubbly. All right, I'm trying to put it back the best I could. Without the school, there you go. That's what we want to hear. Make sure you click. All right, so everything is back. All right, let's see if we could turn this on. And if it does work, that will fix the problem. For those of you who have the problem that I have, yes, it fixed it. Thanks, God. I was about to call, I was about to email them and say, hey, okay. Ooh. Let me, I might have to put the screw back up because it's coming off. Okay. All right, so to get to the clock, and that's what took me a long time to figure it out. You just press the first button in the front, and that will take you to the clock. Okay. Then you move, uh, you, you could move to the year. Right now it's highlighting purple. That's the year. And then you just go to the month. Because since I unplugged the battery, my, my, the date in the month, is wrong so I'm gonna change this to uh, July uh, I think it's July the uh, I don't have my phone with me okay July 6 this is correct and the time is 957 so I just move to to the date and then the time is 9 <clears throat> 
Now, I don't know, does it use military time? Because if it's a military time, I will have to change this to, but I don't think you have the nine. Yeah, I'm just gonna put nine. We're gonna nine. And 957. So I'm change this, go backward to 957. Change this to nine. Take a shortcut, go ahead. Because it's closer to the other number. All right, and then go one more, one more second, and then here set. So I'm just gonna press, uh, I believe, no, not A, but star. And just press, not, star does not work. I'm gonna press this one. Okay, so you press this button to get in, press this button to set it, okay? And that does not look right. That is look like it's, it's it does not look like it's 950. Oh, it's 857. Dog calling. So I'm gonna press star again. I thought it was taking the shortcut. Okay, here we go. 9, 958. All right, so keep on clicking till you go to the set. Press the star, uh, the select button, SE. And the thing still should show 957. Oh, it's showing AM. See that AM? Okay. I'm sorry, I don't mean to make this longer than it's supposed to. Okay, so if it's military time, it will be uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I believe it's 13. All right, I'm gonna do that later. <laughs> let me let me just put everything back, and just to show you, I'm gonna press the stop button. Okay, stop button will take you to the main screen. There you go. It's ten o'clock now. Okay, if you press it twice, it's gonna take you to the screen twice. Okay, so here's the emulator. The emulator here are a lot more. Uh, there's one, two, three, and you go down. Uh, one. Uh, two, three, four, five, okay, four. So four times three, there's 12. There's 12 emulator here, okay? And so some reason that one only have nine emulator. So the, if you get it from a star frame well, you are going to get only nine emulator. So if you go, uh, let me get out here. Okay, so you notice that I got a lot of space between it. So that one is one, and there's only two. Okay, one, two. Okay, so we'll count down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Things repeating, so okay, let's do it again. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. So eight times two is 16. My bad. I think they're the same exact 16 emulator. Okay, so let's look at this information to, to see the setting. So they have the same exact, uh, so this one say 1.0. See that 1.0, okay? And this one, I forgot I haven't put the screw on. So if you go to setting and we press A, Huh, it's the, it said the same thing, 1.00. Oh, maybe maybe because when I unplugged the power, it did not do the framework update. I'm gonna have to turn it off and turn it back on. I think maybe, or maybe this SD card doesn't have the, so this is showing 
is the same framework. So I'm going to do a video show you how to update it because I just rebooted it. Okay. And I think this SD card does not have a customer framework in it because it's a 256. The 128 does have a, uh, that I created, 128, that one does have a customer framework inside the, the folder. All right, so these two right now are the same. This is how you fix it. Okay, I'm gonna put the scoop back on and then call for the day.